Hey guys, welcome to another tech video over at Modular Motorsports. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the primary tensioners. There's lots of talk going on with these things, lots of recalls from Ford, lots of different models out there. So we're going to kind of break it down and, and teach everybody a little bit about them and kind of go from there. Um, you'll see in front of us here, we've got three different versions. The current version, the J. Larry 3 Zebra, that's the most common version and basically everything on up to 2021 right now. We also had the C. Richard 3 Zebra version. This is the cast iron version. And then we also have the, uh, the MMR version, which is a billet aluminum version, um, all ringed on the back with some revived valving. Um, very important to note that the internal components on these are all the same. In other words, the MMR component uses a factory spring, uses the factory, uh, the factory relief valve, and all of that good stuff inside of it. So operation is all the same. A lot of people ask us if ours has got some kind of different internals, and it doesn't. It's, it's the factory, but it's based on a billet design with an O-ring and a revived uh, valving hole um, to get uh, oil to the tensioner sooner. Um, the piston is basically the same. So let's start out with the factory one. Um, the, uh, the, the most current one is the J. Larry 3 Zebra uh, part number. This one is, a, um, is an aluminum design from the factory, um, uses the slightly shorter bolt. This is the pull pin on them in case no one knows what that is. It's basically just to aid in installation. Once you bolt it on, you pull the pin out and the piston comes out. Now, a lot of people think that these things should not be squeezable by hand. That is absolutely incorrect. As you can see, this one just came out of the box. They are squeezable by hand. That's exactly the way that they work. What happens is oil fills them up through the backside and then they become firm. So this is completely normal, folks. This is what they do. Doesn't matter if it's that tensioner, the MMR tensioner, or even the C. Richard 3 Zebra tensioner, which is a little bit of a different animal. And this is a cast iron version Still has the pull pin. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out so you guys can see kind of the operation of it. But this one has a ratchet version. So the ratchet comes out and I'll explain that here in just a sec. But again, pushes in and out, totally normal. That's what they do. The oil pressure is what holds these out folks, not the spring. The spring has nothing to do with it. That's just to assist the piston in making it out initially. After that, it's oil pressure that holds it in. So um, make sure you keep that in mind. Um, we get people that take their engines apart and squeeze the tensioner afterwards and go, oh, there's the problem, that's what's making noise. No, absolutely not. They do bleed down, they do have a valve internally that allows them to bleed down. That is completely normal. Only when the engine is running and the, it has um, oil pressure is this tensioner actually solid and, and, and pushing out on the chain guide. So we talked about the cast iron tensioner with its ratchet. So the ratchet, basically what it does is in the event that the engine loses oil pressure, the piston can only go back so far to the ratchet. The ratchet will not push in. And there's good sides and, good, and, and, and bad sides about that. Um, the good side is that you can push these out um, and when you first start up the engine, they're nice and quiet. Um, the bad side is if you do ever lose oil pressure, eventually what it's gonna do is it's gonna break the, the, the ratchet off, so, um, which we see uh, all too often. Um, so this one would be considered an externally limited. The MMR tensioner is internally limited. In other words, it physically is limited inside to prevent um, collapsing uh, beyond the factory or, or less than the factory tensioner. And then obviously the factory tensioner has no limiters, internal or external. Oil pressure simply uh, makes this one work. So um, that's basically that. What we're going to do now is we're going to move the... Um, the the camera over to an engine just so you can kind of get an idea of what these are doing on the engine and where they are so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to pop the camera off here so we're going to move over to this guy so on this side you can see we've got one of the mmr tensioners that's a limited tensioner so it physically can only go in a tiny little bit you can see it's it's it's, it's pretty minimal in what it wants to do there um, on this side, we've got a factory one. This has got about double the, uh, the, the amount of play in it as far as how far in and out it'll go. You'll see it makes a noise when it bottoms out there. Totally normal. So 
when you spin an engine over, these guys are going to compress in and out. It's totally normal. So if you've completed the engine and you start turning it over by hand, it's going to go in and out. That's its job. That's what it's supposed to do. Without oil pressure, it has no choice but to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that here real quick. Let me grab a uh, crank turning tool. I'll put that on there. These crank turning tools, by the way, these guys are available from MMR. We keep them in stock. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn this thing over and watch what this tensioner does. You can see it's plunged all the way down, back up, down. That's what they do. Totally normal, there's nothing wrong with that. That's completely the way that it was designed. Now, what you gotta understand is when you're firing up a brand new engine, it is going to make noise. It does not have oil pressure the first few minutes. It is impossible to prime a Ford Modular, a Ford Coyote engine using the starter motor. The starter motor does not spin over fast enough to build oil pressure. So if you sit there trying to spin that motor over thinking that you're gonna get those tensioners to quiet down, it's not gonna happen. Just stick, stick, the, uh, stick the key in there, crank it up. It'll be noisy for just a couple of seconds and then it's gonna get quiet. But again, guys, it's totally normal for these tensioners to, to be soft. That's what they do. That's the way that they work. That's what, that's, what, that's what Ford designed them to do. They require oil pressure in order to firm up and tension the chain. Without oil pressure or an engine that's low on oil pressure, they will be noisy, which is what some of the recalls are about right now on some of the later models, the, the F-150s, some of the Mustangs. So again, completely normal. Hope our little tech video helps out. If anybody ever has any questions, you're welcome to give us a call. Um, our phone number is area code 805-383-4130. Thanks for hanging with us.